But we audio animatronic characters love an audience. We are made to perform and play any role imaginable. Why, there's audio animatronic pirates, ghosts, rah, singing bears, rah, presidents, robots, rah, elephants, rah, and space aliens. Not to mention Dicky birds. And we audio animatronic characters are a dream of Walt Disney himself. Take a look. They say a bird in the hand is worth two in the bush. But this little fellow here is worth a fortune. Because we poured a fortune into creating him. Now the first problem was to make a move. Come on, Presco, move. There. Come on, show off. Rear back and show off your chest there. That's it. The crowd. Cost a heck of a lot of money, so you should live up to it. <laughs> well, actually, it wasn't as simple as that. Just as we had to learn to make our animated cartoons talk, we had to find a way to make these characters talk, too. Now, to accomplish this, we created a new type of animation. So new that we had to invent a new name for it. Uh, uh, ooh, uh, 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 audio animatronics? Right, audio animatronics. Now, these are not working from tape. These are manually controlled. This little gizmo here, kind of like a joystick on the old type airplanes, is what gives us a chance to program the bird. And as we work this and get all the little movements that we want in the bird out, we record it on the tape. And then from then on, the tape will do everything that we've done here. So now we'll have a little uh, go at this thing. Marvelous. There to test your skill as an audio animatronics animator, this programming joystick is just like the ones used to program the very first audio animatronics characters. You can use it to program my movements. First, try making my head knock. Good. Now, rock my body forward. Now we're moving. Can you make my chest knock? That's a breath of fresh air. Now, turn my head left and right. Well done. How about opening your feet? Thanks to Audio Animatronics in the Tiki Room.